Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Daybreak Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. But hello, I'm Luke Elvey alongside 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam, who's in the booth. And that's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be following this featured group as there are rumours of quite a rivalry kicking off between these two players. And so this week, Henny, they're vying to beat Tony Finau. This should inspire some brilliant play. Oh, Tony Finau will not be letting up this week, Luke. But he's such a nice guy, you almost don't want to beat him. I mean, it's tough, but you must. I don't think you're going to outdrive him, that's for sure. But I am playing... Well, maybe you can get him there. You have to putt well, though. Tony Finau might be a big, cuddly teddy bear, but when it comes to playing on a golf course, he's going to try and strangle you to death. Good luck trying to beat Tony Finau. There is literally no weakness in this man's game. Now he knows how to win. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And as we check the standings, Lexi Thompson currently holds top spot. Well, it looks like John McCarthy's a step back ashore, kicked off his boat shoes, and it's going to give us a little bit of a condition of today's course. John, what are the players facing here at Old Marina Golf Club? Well, Luke, we're on the coast, but there's a good mix of uh, coastal and inland holes at Old Marina Golf Club. Lots of movement in these greens. Uh, if you are an expert at uh, reading putts, you're going to have a bit of a leg up, I think, this week. I love the fourth hole, par five, that stretches along the ocean, has a green that's well protected by bunkers, which probably might dissuade some from going forward into the seventh hole. Similarly, a par five stretching down. Oh, what a shot from the bunker. Yeah, it's about 14 feet to the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. If it's up, it could be in. And with that part hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Some lovely momentum for this player, moving up the leaderboard. And the third hole here at Old Marina Golf Club uh, looks very familiar, Rich. Par four, playing 444 yards. Luke, if you're a fan of Pebble Beach Golf Links, you're absolutely going to love this hole. Just 444 yards from the back tees. Driver really isn't necessary as there is out of bounds over on the right-hand side that comes into play in a hurry. Just avoid the bunkers on the left-hand side. Find the fairway. Second shot plays slightly uphill. It actually looks like an infinite edge pull. It's really difficult to judge distance control with that second shot. Still a great hole, one that you dearly love to make birdie on. Well, usually Tony Finau is the tall order, but after that shot, I think beating it and getting inside it is the new tall order. What an approach. Looks good off the blade. Oh, that's a ripper. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Playing now from the fairway bunker. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Here we are at the fourth hole.
That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Just a stroke behind the leader. Looks like this one might be in the bunker. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Didn't quite have the distance to get there, but left themselves in a good spot. And here we are with the third shot. He's right in the hunt, just a shot off the pace. <laughs> Nicely played. Good shot. And this putt to move into a tie for second. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. After that hole, this player is second in the standings, behind Lexi Thompson. Time to play one of the one-shotters. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Feeling strong, going for less club. I've known some good iron players in my day, but you're right up there. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Will it be able to get out of this one? They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is... Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. And look out, guys, this rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. Putting for birdie. This one's online. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Moving right along, they're currently tied for first in the standings, alongside Lexi Thompson. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Birdie at the last hole. Can he make it two in a row? Oh, my. That was launched. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? Luke, absolutely. Week in and week out, this player has consistently performed at the highest level. i got to believe he's a lot of people's favourites to win this tournament. Nine feet to the cup. This is their look at birdie. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will take him to six under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And after a birdie at the last, he'll take the honour on the hole. Oh, that was pure. Second shot here on the seventh. Going with a three wood here. That might be one club too many. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there using all of his muscles to get that one home in two.
OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 23 feet from the cup. Get in the hole. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. And now over to Tony Finau. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Wow, what a save. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Going with the five wood. That was a beauty right against the hole. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. 14 feet to the cup. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. Oh, Rich, how good is that? Tough bunker shot, no bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Our current leader is up by three shots. The ninth hole here, though, at Old Marina Golf Club is a strong one, a really tough test to finish the opening nine. A par four, stretching 466 yards. For those who like to work the golf ball from left to right, you're going to have to take a little bit of a chance by aiming over that hazard on the left-hand side. But if you find the fairway, boy, I tell you what, that's a fantastic feeling because this hole has got so much beauty. I love the second shot, the bunkers on the front, but I love how the green runs away on the left-hand side. The design of this hole, especially the green, is absolutely amazing. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Has to putt this one downhill. Rolling end to end, this looking nice. Oh, what a super shot! And as we turn for home, Rich, always a good chance to reflect on the halfway stage of this round. Yeah, fantastic round today. Lots of golf yet to be played. Lots of great players chasing this player. Let's see if they can keep up the good work. Well played, mate. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's looking at nice round number 180 here. Oh, almost went in. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the 10th. Three feet to go here to the hole. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. 
And with that hole finished, they're currently sitting in top spot on the leaderboard. Lexi Thompson holds second. Teeing off now at the 11th hole. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. Yeah, nicely played. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. This is what they have left for birdie here. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. And this one is for his par. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. He's happy, just came off a birdie. This would be a great up and down. Mm -mm. Handy out of the bunker there. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Let's head to the 12th hole. Going with the six iron here. That one should find the surface. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie. Oh, just missed. An opportunity to make their par. The putt is underway. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. This hole is a long par four. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Setting up miles from the hole.
You always like that on long putts when you just have to go ahead and tap it in stress-free. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. On a nice line. That's a good putt to make, that one. Now, five shots up after that hole. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Going with the eight iron here. Good sounding strike that one. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. And now over to Tony Finau. Coming off a bogey on the last hole, Quality shot, that one. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Trying to move to 12 under par with this putt. He's staring down a birdie putt here. But he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's currently sitting in first place. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Going with the pitching wedge here. This one is chewing fiber. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Super shot, that. Currently 13 under for the day. We've arrived at a par four. Wonder how they will play this hole. Do they want to attack it? If so, they can extend their lead. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That is hunting for the hole. And the extremely long putt will drop. Well done. Before this putt was hit, they looked their playing partner in the eye, gave a signal. That was mean. 
but fair. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. Well, Rich, don't know about you, but my eyes are wide open standing here on the 17th tee of Old Marina Golf Club. Every player is going to be salivating to get here. This could be the easiest hole by a long shot on this golf course. The fairway, massive, most generous fairway out here. Second shot, a little bit uphill, but let's face it, just 506 yards, slightly uphill. I promise you, every player in this field is thinking eagle and nothing but. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? You can get great connection on this one. The rough's not going to cause any trouble. It's sitting good. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Playing their fourth shot. And that shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. Oh, beautiful little pitch shot down the hill. Thank you. Gets it to go. Great shot. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Look at this. Oh, what an excellent time to make a big putt like that. And you bet their rival knows just what happened. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Now on the tee of a long par four. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Looks to be going with the five iron. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Ooh, that almost went down. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Such soft hands. A par putt awaits. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. And there you have it, folks. At the end of the opening round, they find themselves in top spot. Not bad, eh, Rich? Not bad whatsoever, but still just the opening day. Lots of golf left to play. However, it does give you a little boost of confidence going forward, knowing that right now you're at the top of your form, your game is good, and you're in a good space. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time.